I'm back. Oh, here you can see <laughs> it'll start showing right. how many people are. Okay. So, um, what else can I tell you? Uh, thank you for telling me my awesomeness was crashing the video. That's very awesome of yeah. you to say. And uh, I love you guys. Uh, give me a question. Okay, come, come to Dublin. Dublin, dude. My show, Look. my show at Dublin last time was so dope. Mayan, 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 how you doing, girl? You crying? Don't cry. Do you make uh, more videos for your new songs? I will, I will, yeah. I can't wait to see you in the Baltics for the third time. I can't wait either. Traveling over 1,200 miles to hey, see you in Toronto. Hey, thanks, Kaylin. You're sweet. Um, what's that? Traveling over 1,200 miles to see you in Toronto. Canada. Oh, shit. Please say hi to my girls, Avery and Emma. Oh, okay. Hey, hi, Avery. Hi, Emma. How you doing? Can't wait to see your, uh, is it your mom? Yeah. <laughs> your girls? All right, can't y'all see you in Toronto, baby. Uh, well, it was a difficult. I did it to take some prep time to jump in this role for the video and conjure up these intense emotions again. Uh, it was. It was a little bit. I I was actually crying in the video. Uh, I, you know, I I, I tried uh, on purpose to um to not to feel like I felt. You know, like I I don't act, but I was trying to um really conjure up that feeling because it was interesting to me just as a um. An artistic exercise. Um, I don't know. I, I enjoyed it, it and I didn't want it to seem fake and, and it feels so weird, you know, like crying on command, but I do feel like um, sometimes writing a song about a painful experience is like crying on command. You you have to, um, I get very in that place when I'm writing, you know, like I'll, I'll relive that shit all again. So it was cool. Will there be a sequel to the recovery video plot for another song for the new album? Ooh, so I don't know. That's a I, listen. I'm not giving you any credit, but that's a good idea. <laughs> you bastard. Next time I'll deny it. This never happened. <laughs> Next time you come to the Netherlands, <laughs> you can go horseback riding with me if you want. Really? It's just a bit to the east. That sounds fun. I I just I, this is gonna this sounds all shades of wrong, but I just pictured us like bareback in it uh, along the beach or something like <laughs> like hair slow motion <laughs> waving. Amazing. Where do all the cool musicians hang out in LA? <laughs> I'm a crew girl. Um, I don't got. I mean, I don't know. I I think. Uh, I think you know. I think we're all a bunch of. Um, I speak for myself, but we're all a bunch of alcoholics. So we all go to bars and things like that. Uh, you can ask Lauren. Lauren hangs with all the cool musicians in LA. She is like the coolest. Sure. I just kind of run around like being like, I'm Lauren Beyonce. Hey. Will you do a video for Dreamer? Oh, definitely. I can't wait to do that video. I never, I haven't thought about it yet, but that's going to be, that'll be fun. I'm going to need a budget. Okay. Like a good, like a straight up big budget for that one. I want Tom Cruise in it. <laughs> but I mean, I mean, if he wants to be in it, but I don't have any money. Are you safe from the fires? Yes, I am. Uh, many friends are displaced and that's very sad. And if you guys want to donate, you can. There's, um, there's lots of different ones that you can look up online and all that stuff. I should have one. Can I give can I give them one if they want to do it? Do you a have a link? One? Uh, yeah, one of the yeah. Yeah, we'll find one. We can okay, post it on Facebook. Post it on Facebook. Um can you do a benefit show for the fires? Um, you know, I, I'm thinking about it, but um I don't know if I don't know when. We'll see. I'm not sure. Could you write another song for Melen Farmer? <laughs> it was great. <laughs> <laughs> there is another song uh uh that I wrote um on that record. I don't know if you know that with her. Um uh at Deslanes or something like that. I think that's a it's a French title. I don't know. I just know it was called Neon in English. Uh but um but yeah I did write a song for her and I would write with her anytime she's incredible. Uh when can we see you again in Paris? Mm. Soon, December actually, yeah. I mean I'll be walking the streets of Paris just for promo. But if you see someone that looks sort of like me, <laughs> it's probably me. Uh, okay. I can't wait to see what you created with Morrissey. Yeah, it's a cover. I just did. It's almost like I'm singing backup for him, um, but it's cool. And uh, it's a hint. It, it was a cover I already did. He didn't know I had covered this song. But, um, but yeah, I think we sound good together. It's, it's a beautiful record. He's quite knowledgeable about... Um, music he's like one of those audiophile people that just knows like the hidden gems of like every big artist and even artists that nobody knows about so it's kind of really really cool um hearing his uh you know 
uh, musical um, knowledge and just like like listening to this record, it, it like it, it it was very inspiring. From Savannah, my eight year old autistic son heard you're lost on you and got upset that you can whistle so well. <laughs> He's upset. <laughs> I bet he can do it. I, that's like I was around eight when I learned how to do the uh, that. <laughs> um, it was really weird. I was in the back of the car going to my grandfather's house and all of a sudden I was just like what? And then I just started going with it. That's what happens, man. Uh, I you, bet he can do it. Are you excited to go on the US tour? Oh, of course. Yeah, I'm always like I'm always like scared, you know. Um, my own country scares me. It's scary. <laughs> it's a scary country. But um yeah, I uh I love it, you know. Um, it just always reminds me, like, I just have such a good time in the States um, on tour. And, um, it, you know, it's wild because it's like uh, this country is so vast, you know. You think you um, know it just because you lived in New York City or lived in L.A. You don't know shit. There's, like, so many different vibes going on. And it's really it's really beautiful to see. And, uh, and it, you know, it's like anything else. Like, all we get to see is all the government bullshit, you know, all day long. But there's a lot of beautiful people in this country. You know, there's people that are, have different views and things that I don't agree with, but there's a lot of beauty and a lot of decency. And uh, I get to see that, which is cool. Uh, how old were you when, you when you announced you were a lesbian? And was that <laughs> <laughs> I was like, <laughs> hey everyone, yeah, Amory, look up, come on. We're at a, we were at a wedding, I was 10. No, I don't, yeah, honestly, like, uh, 20-ish, you know, I don't know, it's just, it's all a blur, but I think, like, I, how about when I announced I was a lesbian to myself, <laughs> you know, it's like, I remember, like, getting high when I was, like, 15, being like, you're gay, you're gay, you're gay, you're gay, you're like, just, like, voice in my head, and then I was like, oh, God, <laughs> you know, like, like, coughing out, like, don't get high if you're not out to yourself. And then, and then it took a few years, you know, to like kind of, to really be like, well, it's not going away. It's staying. Damn it. <laughs> um, that's the biggest thing. Coming out to yourself is the biggest challenge, I think. You know. The next question. Are you gonna bring Orson to Mexico? Oh, well, he doesn't have a passport, so probably not. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no. Uh. What is the symbolic meaning behind your chess piece? <laughs> From Pers Persephone. Persephone, the chess piece. Um, well, it's kind of me becoming comfortable. I, I always had this thing where like people, you know, when like things would go wrong in my career or whatever, you know, like I've been, I've been dropped like eight times from labels, you know, like all this stuff has gone like bad. But I, you know, great friends of mine, mentors, whatever would be like, you know, it's about the, the journey. You know, and I'd be like, shh, don't go there, shh, don't go there, shh, don't go there. I don't want to hear it. Um, it just, you know, I, because I wanted what I wanted then and there, you know. And, uh, but then I think this piece came with uh, accepting that it really is a great thing to have a journey because, you know, when you get to the place that you want, you know, in the area of the place you want, you can then kind of feel like, you know, maybe you earned it or maybe you, or you know, what could have gone wrong and what could have been, you know, how you may have missed it, you know, or like, and all the, you know, the compassion and empathy you could have for other people are trying to do things in their life, no matter what it is. So this, this thing, it, you know, had a lot of like depth for me and uh, I wanted one, the ship on my arm. And then I was like, I was on tour and I was looking through at prison tattoos. <laughs> it's in a great place. And uh, I was like, uh, I saw like a dude with a chest tattoo of a ship and I was like oh ship I mean oh shit I, I fucking I'm gonna put it on my chest <laughs> and it was the best decision I ever made um not really it was really really fucking painful but uh but I love it so it's cool will you make an opera record will I make an opera record I don't think I think um opera people would be like absolutely disgusted <laughs> I an opera record. I, I'd rather do like kind of like my makeshift opera stuff in my in my rock music but uh but you never know I mean I I would love to um do a duet with like an opera an opera star someday that'd be fucking cool I think. okay last question what was the hardest song you've ever written oh god 
Oh. Hmm. Uh, I don't know, but I feel like um, it wasn't hard. It was actually really fun. But Other People, I felt like, was a song that um, I knew. Um, I knew that song was, I knew that concept was really cool. And it was really difficult for me to, um, it's very difficult for me to say it. I had to wait, like literally, I had to wait 10 months to like write it. Because I knew I wasn't in the place. I knew I was still pissed off. You know, like I knew I still had, I wanted the song to come off as not hateful, as kind of like, and also not that kind of thing where like, you fucked up, man, look what you lost, look at the shit you lost, (laughs) you know, like I had to make sure it didn't seem too much like that, I wanted it to seem, um, you know, to like, you know, to show that I was hurt, but that, you know, hey, you know, you did fuck up a little bit, like, you know, like, go, go get what you need, girl, you know, like, I, I wanted it to be the right balance, and I, and I feel like I, I got it, so, but it took a lot of, uh, great, <laughs> <laughs> a little landscaping during this, because we, we need other fucking distractions, um, yeah, but anyway, I think that one was, like, it wasn't difficult, it was delicate, delicate, I gotta go, <laughs> she was just like, Get the fuck out of my house. I gotta go. Boop. All right. I love you guys. I'll see you. All right. Mm. Thank you very much. See ya. Jose. (laughs) Jose, can you see? What's your favorite hobby when you're not working?